ticket, 30% off. <laughs> Looking splendid. Oh, wow. He's got a clean easy. Well, there, there's some excitement out in the middle. We often go on body language, we go on actions, and the fact is he's taken what we thought was a catch. We've gone up for the catch with him, but then he goes for the run out. So that would suggest he's not sure, and we're going to go on the soft single, which means a lot. And his soft single is not out. So straight away we know it has to be conclusive now to prove that he caught it. And that can be hard to do. We'll see a million replays here. And it often is a 50-50. Sometimes you can see it carrying, and then others will say, no, not out. So, well, I'll ask you first after that first replay, Cass. Well, the initial reaction was that if he took the catch cleanly and he really was sure, he probably would have claimed it. This is the front foot. No problem there. This is going to be interesting. It was just the fact that then he threw the ball for the run out, so he's not sure whether it's carried. I'm not sure he ca it's carried. Riley Rousseau. It looks like it's died on him. Yeah, we can't tell from that angle. Yeah, he's moved nicely. It's, t it's just not conclusive there. So there's nothing saying that he's caught it there. It Remember, everyone, soft signal was not out. So we have to prove that it was taken. Now, quite often he'll feel a jam in the fingers. There may actually be two fingers that feel under that ball and they jam in, which to me says when you feel that, you think you've caught it. I may have to change my mind. The more I look at it, is it conclusive, though? Well, this is the thing. Upstairs, it has to have the a third umpire needs to be really sure that that has carried so the soft signal was not out it's that frame just before you see it bump up into the back of the hand so it's the frame that frame there. one frame one frame back is the frame Big moment of the game. That's the frame. What do you think? Jam fingers? Is it well, conclusive? Let's have a look. Third umpire. The decision is out. Well done, Riley Rousseau. They needed a wicket early on, and it's the dangerous Luke Ronke that has to make his way off the field. Furthest here in Ralph Indy. That's gone straight up in there. Who wants it? So El Tambir ice in his veins, and Imran Tahir, as he does so often, breaks a partnership, breaks hearts. Loves his celebration, Imran Tahir, and he deserves it. Brave here, little bit of flight, always going to be the googly. Munro tries to drag it. This isn't easy. How many times have we seen these big high catches being put down? Colin Munro is having a bit of afters with Imran to here. All this afters. Got to calm down, young man. Bounce, and you can get through the ball. Oh! You might have seen him coming, but Ingram has not got enough on this. Gone. James Vince, the Englishman, takes the catch. And it's an Englishman who's bowled it, and it's a South African who's on his way out. Absolutely. Again, just held back. This is brave bowling. I like this from the Multan Sultans. It's brave. It's a good catch again. How many catches did we see put down yesterday? And it's the end of the dangerous Colin Ingram. He goes to six. 65 for three. Big shot. It's, a, it's not connected well and will be taken. Moinali is a good fielder. Took it easily and he's off again in run time. <laughs> well, there he goes. Oh, there's a little bit of the spirit there.
does get carried away sometimes. I love his flamboyant celebration, but there's a, a little bit of anger in that for some reason. It was the Munro dismissal that I think got him worked up that uh, had to make good ground, Moen Alley. And when you make the ground early, you can just be stationary under those high balls, comfortably taken, and he's having to be settled down out there. He's gone for 14, the dangerous should have, it's 70 for four. One for nine for him. Going up in the air, is called for it. It's going to be mine! Takes it quite easily in the end. Asif Ali perishes. Another wicket goes down. Well, Bolt, we talk about the change-ups, and that's why he's out there. And that's his second, two for nine into his second over. You have a luxury, I think, when you're leading the table, just to be flexible in the squad and change it up, give everyone a bit of a go, unless they're needed in the playoffs. So another wicket falls, which slows things down for United. He's gone for four, 74 for five. I celebrate them every day. Sure. Slow ball, doesn't collar it. Chance at the non strikers end. It is oh, gone, I think. Rizwan doesn't like it. Oh, 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 take it easy, boys. Things hotting up a little, which we don't want. <laughs> Well, we've seen it from both sides now. A couple of individuals who are, are not happy with what's going on in that situation. It was just a, a terrible mix-up. So he's just thinking that ball watching, call back. He was two-thirds of the way down. Both go, they would have made it. That's the display, but you don't really want to get too cross with your teammate. He's gone for seven. 81 for six. They're stalling here. Gone. Just about made it for six. Last ball of the innings. Here we go. Shot ball hits hit hard on the bounce. Ball dies after hitting the turf. The throw is at the non strikers and it is a gone. He's a gone. All right. The finger is raised. Plenty of action and entertainment in that nine over bust. Oh, what? It was a frenzy. We've got to take our breath up here because it's just been on for nine overs. Full pelt. Like Formula One racing, it is out there. And that was great fielding at the end. He's a long on, and he could just see in his periphery that he had to go to the keeper's end, the long end. And it was a perfect throw. So butts run out for eight. Islamabad United, they stalled in the back half. 91 for seven. Here's this throw, fantastic. Low, flat, bounces perfectly. Yeah, I knew exactly which end to end. Went to the keeper's end and beat the batsman by a mile right the last 30 balls only produced 39 runs for the loss of six wickets that is a fantastic comeback by Multan Sultans and a great reference point for the captain when he leads the Shadab, go, simple as you like, Shadab Khan takes the wicket, he needs a few more. He certainly does, something for him, something for United, something to go on, a wicket, a breakthrough, and they need plenty more, and very quickly, it was slow, it was very short, probably could have been best served to stay in his crease, and then whack it to the onside, the advanced 
Skewed it back at 16 and he's out. 68 for one. Finally a wicket.